Hello everyone and welcome to statistics part 4. Now you should all be familiar with the most basic knowledge of, stat, uh, of the statistics. If you're not, please go back and revise the previous parts 1 to 3. Uh, in today's video we're going to look on how to measure the range and the standard deviation. Range is the difference between the largest and the smallest value in the data assets, but we are going to consider uh, essential considerations when it's regarding to range. But as you can see on the table here, um, it gives five, gives the price of five different mobile uh, models. Uh, find the range of the data set. So, model A costs five thousand, model B four thousand. It's a lot of money, but you know, uh, these are <laughs> um, phone models that are made in diamonds or something. You know, I don't know why I put so much money, but uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, so what you need to do is just the difference. You take the largest amount minus the lowest amount, and yeah, as we can see here, and that will give us four thousand. So the price of mobiles are the spread of a range of four thousand. So obviously, mobile phones doesn't cost this much. You know, you should probably remove one zero or something. You know, to get the cell phones. But we'll give you the same answer. Yeah. So we say 400 instead. Yeah. Essential considerations, however, is that range has the disadvantage of being influenced by outliers similar to the mean, as you remember from the past video. It's calculated based on only two values, the largest and the smallest, and all other valued, uh, values in the data set are ignored when calculating the range. So imagine you had 20 different um, 20 different uh, mobile phones and you just continue to set yeah or something uh, and then we'll only consider these two so that's why uh, that's why it's, it is an essential consideration that it's only considering the largest and the smallest amount and not the other ones uh, and the range is not a good measure of depression uh, to use it for a data set that contains outliers pretty much yeah and that was the range <laughs> Uh, let's look at the variance and standard, devi uh, devi standard deviation. Yeah. So the most often uh, used metric of uh, dispersion is uh, standard deviation, and it looks like this. So there is an O with a thing image over there. Yeah. So that's standard deviation. So every time you see this, think of standard deviation and dispersion. Yeah. Pretty simple. So the standard deviation right here shows how near or far data points are clustered around the mean yeah remember how the mean look like like this sample mean and population mean so standard deviation um, shows how near standard deviation is these two yeah standard deviation is a single metric that has represent the deviation of all data values from the mean yeah the standard deviation for a population data is standard deviation or sigma. Yeah. The square of the standard deviation is the variance. Yeah. And the sample squared for the population and the sample uh, respectively. Yeah. Normally, we tend to uh, calculate the variance first. So we calculate the variance and then. We square root, uh, uh, then we square root it, right? We square, square root something that is um, uh, to the power of two, it becomes singular. Basic mathematics, yeah? So now we're going to look at uh, the formulas. And I'm saying this right now, don't be scared, you know, it, it, might, it looks worse than it is, you know, but for when the first when the first time I looked at it, I was like, okay, <laughs> I need to focus right now, you know. But don't be scared; it's nothing dangerous, yeah. So this is how it. This is the formula for the population variance, yeah. So as you can see here, this is standard deviation, standard deviation squared or the variance, and it, and it is the uh, sigma x squared minus sigma x squared divided by n. Divide, uh, divided by n, yeah? It's not that hard. And the sample variance is exactly the same, but the difference is the n. It should be, uh, it's not supposed to be, 
yeah, whatever. Uh, so it's the same thing, but the difference is the n, yeah, this one. Yeah, so this is a big n, this is a n minus 1. That's the difference. And a sample, we know what a sample is, and we know what the population is. Yeah? So population standard deviation is calculated by like this. So you have, if you, if you do this, if you square root the standard deviation squared or the variance, you will get, like I said, yeah? Simple. Sam, uh, sample standard deviation, same thing, you get this one. Pretty simple. And uh, now, when we know the formulas, all of these formulas, we're actually going to put them into a test and see if we understand them. So the net income slash market value of five companies are 75, 107, 271, 138, and 71. Find the variance and the standard deviation of this data. Yeah? I wrote it twice. I really need to get better at doing PowerPoints. <laughs> it's a lot of mistakes on the videos. It feels like I spend most of the time complaining of my mistakes on the, vi uh, on the videos, but never mind. Just ignore this one. Yeah. And uh, what we do is that we are going to consider the table. So in the previous video, we did plenty of tables. So we're going to consider x. Uh, let's say this is in billions, by the way. Billions, yeah. So this is 75 billion, 107 billion, etc. So you will consider these values as x, right? The 75 billion, 107 billion, and the total, the sigma of x is 662, like we learned in the previous video, right? So we can get that. And now we have to do uh, the only thing we have to do now. Is to take the x squared. So you take this value squared should be equal to that. This uh, value squared should be that, and so on. Yeah, and the total amount would be this. And then you're going to consider the right formula. It's a sample. Yeah, five companies. You know, there are more than five companies in the world, so it's a sample, which means that it's a small n minus one. Yeah, and then we just need to plug in the um, numbers into the formula and we'll get it uh, calculated. So we take um, sigma of x squared here, sigma of x this one, sigma of x this one here, let's do like this so you can see. We take this one here, we take this one over here, there are five, one, two, three, four, five, so n equal five, so this one should be 5, and this one should be 4, yeah? Ignore this. I don't know why it's a space here, but let's ignore it. So, as you can see, we put the uh, sigma x squared right here. Sigma x right here, squared. Uh, five, five companies. So one, two, three, four, five, you know? And the formula says that we have to minus n, yeah? So it makes it 4. So we put it into the, we, we calculate, uh, all, based on basic mathematics, you know, you should do this one first, you know. And that, you take that minus, divide by 4, you will get this. So S2 should equal 6, 7, 3, 7.8, yeah? But we have to square it, because they're asking for the standard deviation. As well, we found we found the variance. So this is the variance right here. Variance, variance. Here you go. And now we need SD. And how do you get SD? You square it. I apologize that I destroyed my points, but you just square the whole thing here. You get that, and this is eighty-two billion pounds. Yeah, simple and fun. Next one, the salaries for all, if you remember the past, uh, the past video, you know all means population, so we're going to use the population formula. The salaries for all six employees are 88, 108, 
65, 52, 79, 54. Calculate the variance and the standard deviation for the salaries. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let's do that. So we're going to find the um, formula here. Just n. It's 6. n equals 6. Given in the question right here. Yeah. Uh, let's get the table. The table, we just list this as x. So 88.5 right here. 108. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an increasing. You can just put them how, how you want it. It's not like the range or the median or anything. Just put it like, like this. And the total would be this one. Yeah? And you take this one. Uh, 449.30. Put it in here. You square all of these, square, 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 etc. This the, they become this, and you take all of you take all of this, the sum of this, this right here, place it over there. You take the n, which is six, over here, and over here. Yeah, simple. That's what we've done. So, standard deviation. Here we got that one, that one, that one. And you know, you don't have to do it step by step. You can just plug all of this in to a calculator, just like this. You remember the brackets, it's very important. Yeah. And then you should get this. This is the uh, standard deviation, and uh, this is the variance. So we need to square it to get the standard deviation, and that's this much. Yeah. So that is how you calculate the standard deviation and the variance. It's not that hard. Do this a couple of times. Um, yeah. And I said that the videos are going to be more detailed. And in future videos, it's going to be even more detailed. I go through it fairly quick. And I hope that you go back and revise it, you know. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. And thank you for coming to part four. Yeah. See ya.